Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, March 7, 2016. Fukushima site still leaking after five years, research shows. Wessler sampled off Fukushima in October 2015. His analysis of cesium and strontium indicate releases from the plant are not yet under control. A statement that has been used by the Japanese government to describe the situation cesium levels have remained relatively constant. We are not seeing the steady decrease. We would expect to see off Fukushima if all sources had stopped, rather, we are finding values are still elevated. Which confirms that there is continued release from the plant. The highest level of cesium Bwesseler S team found in a sample taken off Japan in October 2015 measured 200 becquerels per cubic meter. Strontium too, is not falling as expected. Scientists have found that strontium is not decreasing as fast as cesium. Whereas there was approximately 40 times more cesium than strontium. In the waters off Japan in 2011, by 2013, there was approximately 10 times more cesium than strontium. The concern lies in the thousands of tons of strontium still stored in tanks at the nuclear power plant and accumulated in buildings and soils. Some of it still leaking into the ocean. Map shows the location of seawater samples taken by scientists and citizen scientists that were analyzed at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution for radioactive cesium as part of our radioactive ocean. Cesium-137 is found throughout the Pacific Ocean and was detectable in all samples collected. While cesium-134, yellow-slash-orange dots, an indicator of contamination from Fukushima has been observed offshore and in select coastal areas. Figure by Jessica Drysdale, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution.